Okay, hi, Cassie here again. I'm just doing a bit of an update. I have to excuse my video, so I don't know how to edit them. I need some editing software. But um, I thought I'd do an update for you guys. This will be video three on the 20th of the 6th, 2009, this is Saturday. I just wanted to let you guys know that if you're seeing these videos now, it's more than likely been at least six months to a year since I started this journey. Um, and that's because I didn't want people to see it as it happens. Because I know how nasty people can be through that way. I've been teased all my life for being fat. And I do have feelings. I'm a human being. I didn't particularly want to read comments on my YouTube videos whilst I'm trying my hardest to be optimistic and lose weight. I don't need people putting me down. So hopefully by the time you guys see this, I'll be really skinny and they will be able to see from the beginning to the end or well, at least I would have lost hopefully 30 kilos or more, you'll be able to see the difference. I don't know how many videos I have by the time I actually let them be seen by the public, but we'll to wait and see. Um, so my update is on Thursday I had an appointment with a dietitian in the afternoon, uh, her name is Taryn I believe, where I got given my shake powder because I've put on 2.5 kilos and my BMI is now over 50, it's 50.3, which is not good because it's not supposed to be over 50 for this trial. Excuse me. And I had the Taryn basically just said, you know, it's not going to hurt me any if I start a little bit earlier to try and get my weight down a bit more because I'm supposed to start shakes Tuesday. Saturday now, it's supposed to start Tuesday. So I've had an extra four or five days on the shakes. So hopefully that's getting my weight down. I'm really struggling, struggling on the shakes. They don't taste bad, they taste good actually. Dr. Layani. You have to excuse me tonight, I'm really tired. It's like 9 o'clock at night and I'm wanting to go to bed, but I thought I'd do an update before I go. So if I mess up my words, I can't say why, <laughs> just excuse me because I'm tired. But um, Dr. Layani developed the shake powder formula with a chemist. It's actually one that he developed himself because he was putting people on Optifast and they found that it was really disgusting, which I have to agree. But the one that he's um, developed is really good. It's almost like a thick shake. It gets so thick. And um, there is a bit of a powdery taste to it. But it's not unpleasant. It's dealable. You can deal with it. Um, I've got strawberry and vanilla flavours. I've been trying to add um, essences to the vanilla one, like a chocolate essence or uh, coconut or peppermint, just to give it a bit more flavour. Because I'm having um, three shakes a day. If I'm having, say, two strawberry and one vanilla or two vanilla and one strawberry or all vanilla or whatever, it just gets a bit boring having that same flavour. They were out of chocolate shakes when I was there. So I've been trying to mix it up a bit, make it taste a bit different. It's going okay. I'm really missing real food. Really missing real food. I mean, I get to eat vegetables and apples and, you know, diet jelly and stuff like that. But then I have to drink a lot of water, which is killing me. I just I don't like water. I'm not allowed to have caffeine, so no coffee, no Diet Coke, um, no V, which I'm dying. <laughs> I love my V, but um, you know, energy drinks. What was I just saying? Yeah, drinking so much water. I'm supposed to be drinking three liters a day of water or fluids. It says fluids, so that includes my shakes. So I have three shakes a day, which are done with 200 mils of milk and 30 grams of the shake powder. So that's included in my fluids for the day, but I'm finding it difficult to be drinking. It's what, 2.4 litres of other fluids? Like water, basically. And um, I'm finding that very difficult. And if I'm going out places, I don't want to be drinking water if I'm going to have to go, you know, pee all the time, obviously. That's a bit embarrassing. Like, excuse me, just have to run off for a second. So I'm trying my hardest. I'll give you a rundown of what I eat now. Well... I use the word eat loosely because so I don't eat much. But um, in the morning I have a shake, which is the 200 mils of skim milk with 30 grams of powder. And that's all I have for breakfast. And then a morning tea, I am allowed to have um, some vegetables. Oh no, fruit, sorry. Morning tea is fruit. I can have grapes, um, brock melon, watermelon. I can't remember what else is on the list. I've got a list of things that are allowable and things that aren't, like things to avoid. Um, so I just have an apple because that's all I've got at the moment. I'm going to go get some grapes and things later. And then lunchtime I have another shake, 
with vegetables. I've been doing steamed vegetables in those little steam packets and I actually bought steam fresh ones that had corn in them which I forgot, you know, like I have corn, corn's on the no list. But um, there was only three packets in there so I figured it's not going to kill me to have a little bit of corn. I'm not really having anything else, I'm not cheating, I'm not, you know, being naughty and having anything else. So it's not going to kill me. And I usually have the steamed vegetables with the salad dressing I found in the salad dressing aisle. It's kind of a deli style type thing. It has like a list of things you're allowed to have, like lemon juice, um, balsamic or vinegars, mustard. I can't remember the other stuff that's on the list. I should grab the list. Hang on. Excuse my head in the can. Alright, here's my list. Uh, okay, things to avoid. Additional sta Additional snacks. Uh, okay, sorry, yeah. Things to avoid are additional snacks. <sighs> no, I've stuffed it up. Things to avoid are alcohol, caffeine, energy drinks, fruit juices, soft drink, milk drinks, sweet ice, teas, etc. Additional snacks, I can see the list of vegetables. That's what I was trying to say, but my brain's not interpreting it because I'm tired. Okay, fluids. Please drink three liters of fluids a day. I said that before. Um, I have to take a maximum, a minimum of 4,000 milligram fish oil capsules every day. Um, I have to take a daily multivitamin. It's actually a pregnancy one called Elevit because that's got fish oil in it also and it's got, you know, folate and iron and all those goody things that it's supposed to have. Um, so yeah, and I'll read you some of the allowable stuff. This video is going to be going on forever and it's going to take ages to upload to YouTube so I'm yeah, uh, fruits, I'm allowed things that contain around 300 kilojoules or 60 calories or 10 to 15 grams of carbohydrates. For example, 200 grams of strawberries, two apricots, one large nectarine, two slices of pineapple, two or three passion fruit, 100 gra grams of grapes, one small apple, uh, a third of a cup of cherries, so three quarters of a cup of cherries, one small orange, one peach, one small pear, etc, etc, you get the idea. Um, it has like a list of fruits that you can have and it says avoid all other fruits. And then it has low starch green vegetables. It's got a list of them, I don't think I need to read it out, I'll just read out what to avoid. Avoid corn, legumes, lentils, potatoes and sweet potato. Um, I can have soups, like clear soups, like stock cube soups, vegetable soups using the allowed vegetables, miso soup, um, okay, sauces and condiments is what I was talking about before. Lemon juice, vinegar, Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce in moderation, chili, mustard, tomato, mustard and tomato paste.